So I've had this Kingdom One Touch Copy Machine for a while now, and I've always wanted to see what was on the inside of it. Well, it's pretty jam-packed, and the bottom has like a bajillion screws, so that's not going to happen. But I was able to at least take the faceplate off, and uh, you can kind of see what it's like in there. It's just jam-packed full of everything. And I've always wondered about that because this, this is the uh, master deck. And as you can see, there's no wires for the electromagnetic erase head. Probably because there's not one in there because it's not needed. But they filled the gap with just a random one, which is kind of funny. Because as you can see, that one's got wires because that one's the copy side. But yeah. Each side, uh, since it does both sides of the cassette at the same time, you need twice the wires on the playheads. I mean, the uh, co play it for Christ's sakes, the copy head. There's the wires for one side of the tape, and then the other side of the tape, and then there's your electromagnetic erase. And uh, yeah, I mean, it is just shove packed with so much stuff and I can barely you can barely see the belt system in there it's got two fans on the side because it does get pretty warm so and I see two uh, idler tires there so even though it's belt driven it's also um, what the hell you want to call it? I don't know. It uses idlers too, as I guess, instead of like um, gears on the newer decks. So, yeah, that's pretty crazy. It's like shove packed. So, yeah. All right. Later.